So am I holding his hand back or is it? Yeah, his hand's good. Okay. One of the toughest parts of being a military spouse is knowing you'll likely move every couple of years. That can interfere with finishing an education or building a career. Where do you turn for help to do both? The American Red Cross. It offers job training to military family members. For example, at Ramstein Air Force Base in Germany, you'll find us training candidates as dental assistants. We take in volunteers, we train them for six months, uh, and they augment our active duty population, our active duty technicians, and they allow us to do things that we might not otherwise be able to do. They're basically giving us manpower. They volunteer their time, we train them to become dental assistants. I was so excited when I got here. I'm like, oh my goodness, I went home and I told my husband, I got into the program and he was like, awesome. And now I'm here. I, can, I don't think I can take this back. And it's not just overseas. At the Womack Army Hospital in Fort Bragg, North Carolina, we help support a program to help people become medical assistants. Right now, because I'm a MAP student, I'm going through the MAP program, which is a medical assistant program. Um, I'm actually working at the orthopedic clinic, and I've learned a lot. Definitely learned some skills that I could probably put on my resume and possibly land a job in the future. And it doesn't stop there. You'll find us in radiology, pharmaceuticals. Some of these young people may be too young for full-time employment, but are part of a Red Cross youth program that teaches not only long-term job skills, but responsibility. We help people gain a certification, help people gain a job skill, to support those who protect us. Service to the Armed Forces, from the American Red Cross.